Uh, Postcards of the Wiener Werkstätte is an exhibition which comes from the Neue Gallery in New York. But for the Woodsonian venue, uh, we added uh, some objects uh, produced by the Wiener Werkstätte coming from uh, our collection. Um, it's, uh, it's a selection of 300 uh, postcards created uh, by the Wiener Werkstätte. Uh, the Vienna Workshop was founded in uh, Vienna in uh, 1903 by the architect uh, Josef Hofmann, uh, the painter uh, Kolo Moser, with the sustain of the uh, textile industrialist Fritz van Dörfer. Uh, the, the goal of the firm was uh, to design every aspect of uh, daily life, uh, eliminating the distinction between uh, high and low art, and uh, to allow the, the creation of the total work of art, uh, the so-called uh, Gesamtkunstwerk. Uh, from uh, the beginning, the Wiener Werkstatt uh, created a coordinated design for its products uh, and sale lo locations, uh, establishing the WW uh, logo as a distinctive brand for its uh, uh, business correspondence, uh, for advertising and uh, catalogues. And uh, the, the most striking example of uh, how cleverly the Wiener Werkstatt uh, used the, the concept uh, of the visual uh, trademark uh, is uh, in uh, the publication of uh, artist postcards opposed uh, to uh, mass produced uh, postcards. Uh, as a curiosity, uh, the first postcard was marketed in an uh, Austro Hungarian post office in 1869. Uh, since that date, uh, a mania for collecting postcards started. And uh, at the turn of the century, uh, albums uh, were uh, published uh, to systematize uh, uh, the postcards, uh, mainly in, uh, in Paris, and you will see some of them in the exhibition. Uh, the Wiener Werkstatt produced uh, a series of uh, postcards uh, that bring to life uh, the turn of the century Vienna. Uh, from uh, its uh, architecture, its uh, cafes, uh, its urban types, uh, its uh, fashion, and uh, one of the first uh, subjects to mention is the famous uh, cabaret Fledermaus, which is uh, the first uh, uh, Gesamtkunstwerk uh, created uh, by the Wiener Werkstatt. It was designed uh, by Josef Hofmann and uh, uh, the interiors were uh, created by several artists from the Wiener Werkstatt. Uh, the bar was covered uh, with uh, 7,000 uh, um, uh, ceramic tiles uh, created uh, by the Wiener Ver uh, Keramik for the, the Wiener Werkstätte. Uh, another uh, section uh, illustrates uh, views of Vienna, um, from the Baroque Vienna to the Secession uh, Vienna, and uh, also some uh, uh, parts of the Vienna which was uh, disappearing. Uh, with its uh, old uh, courtyards uh, and uh, lanes. Among the, the most uh, important uh, artists who collaborated uh, with, the post, uh, with the postcard production um, are uh, Oscar Kokoschka and uh, Egon Schiele. Uh, Egon Schiele created uh, three postcards from, for the Wiener Werkstatt, while uh, uh, Kokoschka um, was an illustrator at the beginning of his uh, uh, career and uh, contributed with many postcards uh, uh, to the Wiener Werkstatt. Uh, it was uh, Adolf Loos, uh, the architect uh, uh, who was a harsh critic of the Wiener Werkstatt, uh, who convinced him uh, to abandon uh, this uh, decorative movement and to become a painter. Uh, another interesting uh, section is uh, the fashion. Uh, the fashion department was uh, created uh, in uh, uh, 1910, uh, and since uh, that date, uh, uh, the Wiener Werkstatt started to create uh, textiles, uh, fabrics, uh, and, uh, and fashion. Uh, most, uh, uh, some of the most exceptional uh, designs were created by women artists, uh, including uh, Amela Köhler and uh, Maria Lickertz. This uh, fabric, called the Bergfalter, was uh, designed uh, by Kolomoser in 1910-11 and uh, is an example uh, that uh, we can find uh, in one of the fashion postcards uh, designed uh, by Mela Kohler. Uh, the same pattern uh, can be seen 
in one of the fashion models reproduced on the postcard. I would like to point out that uh, the design of the exhibition was uh, created by Richard Miltner, uh, the Wilsonian uh, chief designer. He was inspired uh, by the first exhibition uh, of the Wiener Werkstätte, which took place uh, in uh, Berlin at the uh, Kunstgewerbe Hohenzollern House. The design was by Josef Hofmann uh, with the use of black and white, uh, the geometrical line typical of, uh, of his design. Also for the display cases, uh, uh, Richard was inspired by a writing desk designed by Dagobert Peche in 1917. Dagobert Peche has been the artistic director of the Wiener Werkstätte from uh, uh, 1915.